Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your local rich YouTuber here. Oh, wait, that was before. Uh, hold on. Rebecca, play some sad music. Man, that was before hell broke loose on YouTube. Before our hero, Logan. Started tasing dead rats, I don't even know anymore. But anyway, good morning devs, hope you're having a great and proactive start to your day so far. I just punched my microphone, hope you guys didn't hear that. In this episode of Acid Reviews, we're gonna talk about Realistic Effects Pack 4, the newest one in the series. Oh, and by the way guys, just before we begin, I just wanna quickly point out the fact that we're running a giveaway right now on Discord, so we're hosting it there. The link is in the description down below, so click on it, and also in the pinned comment, so click on that, and you'll be joining Discord, and that's where you can join for the giveaway as well. Now with that being said guys, buckle up, grab some popcorn and let's check out this asset together. Good news everyone, good news about your local rich YouTuber's health and mental health. <laughs> no, but really, good news. Uh, my back doesn't hurt anymore, so that's that's the positive side of the story at least. And the toothache seems to be over, at least for now. Let's hope that it's permanent, I really don't want to jinx it. <laughs> but besides that guys, before we get into the asset, I was planning to actually live stream tonight the Q&A that we actually ran on the channel. They were also still running, so if you want to join, the link is in the description. So I was planning to make a live stream where I pretty much answer your questions from that video and then we can play some games or whatever um, let me know what you think in the comments down below so for the acid part this is an acid pack which includes 27 spell effects with sound effects as well and it is developed by crypto 289 so you can find this pack under VFX particle spells category on the acid store and it comes with a price tag of 35 bucks the acid can be used for adding spells and other VFX into your games and projects such as animations they can be used in FPS TPS top-down and any kind of perspective based game really like an MMO etc since these effects don't really limit you or your projects for that matter and the core features of this asset are following mobile and VR support both for oculus and the vibe the pack also includes sound effects for each and every spell too like I said before so if you don't want to go ahead and seek for new sound effects after picking up an asset like this obviously you're free to not do so there's also support for mobile games like I said and even an entire demo scene just for mobile examples which is awesome we're gonna take a look at it further in this video so make sure to hang around and it also works out of box so you don't really have to do anything specific to get it to work with your projects and you can change any attributes such as a color which is a couple of simple clicks now we're gonna talk about the features a little bit further in this video as well but before we do we're going to go through a developer response which is pretty much the support for this asset so I can unfortunately not see a forum thread running for this I even googled it up I couldn't find anything which I don't know why it's always like a great promotion and support platform for any product released on unity and the asset store however the author replies quite actively on support requesting reviews on the asset store page and has an active email address up and running which is also included on the page now for the release date the initial version was released in april 2017 and the current version is at 1.1.1 i know a lot of ones right there and it was released in december 2017 so pretty recently now like i promised you guys we're gonna take a look at the features a little bit more in depth and we are actually in fact going to take a look at the asset itself in unity in just a bit but before we get to that point we are going to go through the pros and cons about this asset so first and foremost let's begin with the pros quite straightforward honestly you get what you ask for like literally if you're seeking for a spell effect asset pack this is pretty much it it has mobile support and vr support which is amazing because a lot of developers have started picking up on mobile games and vr so these two industries are or these two branches in this industry are obviously growing quite hectically so make sure to make use of that in case you're picking up this asset and you're making a game in that field and there are also sound effects included like i said before like two times now uh it's just a huge point for me because obviously it's it really shows the the consistency about this asset the fact that it's trying to make you feel like it's a complete asset without or with by actually you know including these sound effects so that you don't have to search for new ones uh, the effects are ridiculously good looking in my opinion and high quality if you've seen the demo scenes and you can also see them through this video itself i'm going to include that video uh, for the trailer itself they look absolutely gorgeous so it's a huge bonus for that 
the price is also quite cheap for an indie dev, honestly. 35 bucks, you know, the, and considering the quality of this and the amount of like effects you get, 27 different effects with sound effects, that's actually a lot. Like for 35 bucks, that's a lot of content right there. And it's also very easy to get started and edit out all the attributes you want to in order to make it make a game that is not an acid flip game, right? Because obviously nobody wants that. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we're in Unity now. We're gonna take a look at the Crypto Effects, which is the Realistic Effects Pack 4 root folder. So as you can see, obviously these this is a root folder. If you have the other parts of the series or this asset series, obviously they're gonna be listed in here, but we're gonna check this one out. So as you can see right off the bat, we have one and two different demo scenes. We're in the PC one right now. We can also enter the mobile demo if we want to. There's also a readme file, which we're not gonna get into, but it's basically like a very short kind of instruction on how you get started with the asset. And in here, we obviously have the audio files, which is the sound effects that I really pointed out in this video during this video, I know. Um, so you can use these obviously if you want to, but you can also change them out to um, match with other kind of sound effects you either find online or make yourself. Um, then we have the materials for every single one of these effects and you can see that they are actually given to their own, you know, kind of directories or folders if we would like to. Um, and that's a pretty good thing, obviously, because if you check one effect and you're like, all right, I really want to use this material or really want to change it out, obviously you can find it very, very easily. So they're not, you know, bunched out in one single folder, which is pretty cool to see. And then we have the models folder, which is where all the models from the demo scenes, both of the demo scenes are actually located. Um, and if you want to use these, obviously you can, but it's not really like a very big thing to use. Uh, it's just pretty much the sword system where used in this demo scene, which is also from the Viking pack, which is pretty cool to see. So that's pretty much it for this. Then we have the prefabs where all the effect parts, effects, and the effect with characters are located. So you can also have these effects as spells on each and every single character, obviously, and the demo also supports that. So if you want to check that out, obviously you have this folder here. The effects with the characters obviously also include some animations. If you want to drag this into the scene, obviously you can see that. Oh god, this is way too glowy right now because it's literally up front in the camera. But um, the demo scene itself includes the character from the beginning, so you don't really have to add that in case you're checking out the demo scene. Um, for the FX folder, these are just pure the effects, literally that. And you also have the effects part, which is for collision and also the hand effects. So in case you want to kind of use for the hands only, you can use that for spells and such, uh, which is pretty cool from the author to include. Obviously, it adds a lot for the almost replayability, but reusability, maybe that's a better word for it. Um, then we also have the scene, which is pretty much the materials used for the scene, uh, for the mobile scene. As you can see, that's the wall from the mobile demo. Uh, I don't actually remember if I showed you guys the mobile demo, but if you enter that scene, you're going to see what I mean. There's literally just one wall. Uh, it doesn't look like this. So in the scripts folder, you have the scripts for such as player, you know, shooting the effects and such. If you want to use that for reference or if you want to kind of copy paste that into your game, obviously you can do that. But um, yeah, this is pretty much it. And then in the shaders folder, you have some folders for Bloom, Decal, uh, Portal, and also Water. And then you have the shaders for every single one of these effects that we can see. And textures, obviously these are just for the textures for every single one of these effects. I saw one like Portal Fog, the lighting right here, or Lightning. Um, so these are pretty cool if you want to check them out for, once again, for reference, or if you want to create your own ones, you can kind of take inspiration by these, which is pretty cool to include. Alrighty guys, so that was what follows in the asset part, or what comes in the asset, that's actually the first time I kind of say the name wrong here. But in conclusion guys, before we end the video, who would I recommend this to? So, it, since this is a straightforward asset, it's just that you're getting what you ask for, literally. If you're looking for a spell asset, if you're looking for like a power-up asset, a VFX, which you can use to grant your player and or AI such powers, this is definitely worth a shot. I really am in love with the quality, I really am in love with the price tag, obviously it's very cheap for the amount of effects you get and the amount of sound effects you get as well. I would personally use these in any kind of game I create such as an FPS, MMO, 
as long as there is a room for spells and superpowers for either my players or AI. So um, yeah, it's like I said, it's just very, very straightforward. You get what you ask for. Now, with that being said, guys, I want to hear your opinions and your comments on this asset. What do you think so far? Have you picked this up? Are you going to pick it up? And what do you think after picking it up? Because we also want to see your kind of review on this. And also, guys, like I said, join Discord. The link is in the description. We are also running the giveaway, like I said before. Uh, so make sure to join. Obviously, there is free assets being given out so who wouldn't want that now the like goal on my previous video which was the speed level design and the support itself was absolutely generous it was absolutely ridiculous but the craziest part is that like goal of 120 likes was broken in like two or three hours which is crazy Thank you guys so much. And for that reason, I'm actually setting a like goal of 150 likes on this video. So let's see if we can actually reach that. And if you're new around here, obviously hit the subscribe button so you stay up to tune for new content, new asset reviews, new tutorials, speed level designs, and such. We upload quite a lot of content on this channel, so make sure to stick around here. And um, yeah, with that being said, guys, I'll either catch you in the comments, in the Discord server, or in the live stream tonight. I hope I see you there. I'm probably gonna end up doing that because a lot of people wanted me to live stream. So with that being said, let me know in the comments. Catch you there, guys. Peace out. Hey.